south of Tanzania, along the Indian Ocean coast, the region of Kilwa offers a wonderful introduction to Swahili culture. Easily accessible from both Dar es Salaam and Zanzibar, close by to Silu, Africa's largest reserve, the people of this river delta and its islands have known how to preserve their local culture as well as the region's heavenly natural beauty and the historical remains that surround it. Kilua, facing the sea, includes several peaceful and welcoming fishing villages where traditional fishing has endured along with the crafting of traditional boats called dough. These sailboats link the small town of Masoko with the islands of Sangomanara and Kilwa Kisiwani, listed by UNESCO as World Heritage Sites. They are real treasures for historians and archaeologists from all around the world. They are an exceptional testimony to the expansion of Swahili culture and of trade along Africa's eastern coast. From the 1200s through the 16th century, sultans arriving from the east built palaces, fortresses and mosques, blending stone and coral to create a unique style of architecture at this crossroads of several civilizations. The merchants of Kilua would exchange gold, silver, pearls perfume and earthenware from Persia, porcelain from China, and more sadly, slaves, as a way of controlling a sizable part of the trade across the Indian Ocean. Nowadays, the little town of Masoko welcomes travelers As soon as dawn rises, the day comes alive with the arrival of its fishermen. In a surprising ballet in sync with the tides, village women move towards the boats. The fish will later be sold in local markets and in nearby villages. Most Kilua locals are fishermen, merchants, farmers, and salt miners. The archipelago of Kilua holds still more surprises, like its barrier reefs which are a refuge for wild birds on the desert island of Lukila. The emerald waters of its lagoon are also the hunting grounds for octopus fishermen, supplying one of the main ingredients of Swahili cuisine. Deeper into the mainland, ochre and brown-colored houses and roads replace the blues of the ocean waters. The locals are welcoming, and the native guides from nearby small villages have a sacred relationship with the nature that surrounds them. Let them guide you in these incredible caves or by the ponds nearby, where hippopotamus roam. Mm -hmm. 
To have access to all these treasures and many more, stay in Masoko or Kevinje, nearby the Indian Ocean beaches. <laughs> There you will find hotels and lodging and guest houses, affording you an unforgettable immersion into Swahili culture. Get ready to be surprised.